Welcome to part two of this Martin Odegaard Football Manager 2016 Wonder Kid experiment. In part one, I holidayed Martin Odegaard's career up to the age of 26. And I asked you guys to, to leave a like if you wanted a part two. Thank you for all the support on that video. Here is part two. If you missed part one, by the way, go and check that out first so you know what's going on. But as you can see here, he is currently at Chelsea. He's been here a few years and now I've holidayed another two years since the last video to the age of 28, 2027. And as you can see, he's now valued at 50 million pounds and his contract has been extended until 2031. Just like on the last video, I would like you to comment in the comment section below some players, some wonder kids that you would like me to focus on in future videos. I've already got a few lined up, but the more suggestions, the better, pretty much. Okay then, so how has Udegaard been doing over the last couple of years? You can see his international career is still going brilliantly 96 caps in Norway only 10 goals though but I guess he's the more creative spark in the Norwegian team and with the influence of him in the team they are doing very well they're 18th in the world we know how well they did at the 2022 World Cup how did they do at the 2026 World Cup they unfortunately were knocked out in Group D Russia won this World Cup against Romania in the final. That is pretty random to be honest. Let's have a look to see how, you know, which group they, they were knocked out of. Here they are, the Romania, the eventual finalists, and Chile ahead of Norway. He got four points. Unfortunately, they only lost one game, but they were knocked out of the World Cup because of that. How about the European Championships? We haven't had a look at that yet, have we? You can see here they haven't actually. I know they did qualify, 4th in Group A in 2016, 4th once again in 2020 and then in 2024 they finished 3rd. So they haven't made as much progress in the European Championships compared to the World Cup. So how's his Chelsea career going? Let's have a quick look then. You can see here he's once again improved his average rating at 7.45 two seasons ago in the Premier League. 7.43 overall, 17 goals, that's his best season yet, and 10 assists. And then the season just gone, 18 goals in all competitions and 16 assists. Eight man of the matches, a 7.63 average rating overall. That is really, really high and very impressive. Competitions wise, they've won the Premier League, which is great news, and the Capital One Cup again. So they won it in 2026. Sun Man City won it the season just gone. But look at Sunderland in second place flying up the table quite incredibly so. Uh, yeah, so Chelsea top four finish this season. Last season they did win the league, so that's good to see. But let's have a look at his personal awards. Has he managed to to get anything? Any like World Player of the Year nominations? I, I don't think so. We will have a look at World Player of the Year awards at the end of this video today when we see Martin Odegaard retire. Hopefully, unless he's going to go into like the age of fifty, then perhaps we won't see him retire. So it's now 2013 and Odegaard's at the age of 31 now, I suppose coming towards the end of his prime period in his footballing career. Still at Chelsea though, 16 goals in 125 games for Norway as well. Value has gone down as he's got older, it's still 28.5 million though, which is not bad for a 31 year old. So he's probably become a Chelsea, is he a Chelsea legend? He's been there a long old time, so we'll have a quick look. Pochettino's now in charge of Chelsea. They've not had a huge number of managers. They've only had two managers on this. Mourinho was manager until two years ago, 15 years and two days, and he retired from management. And Pochettino's been in charge for the last couple of years. And Mourinho did well to last that long, considering real life. There's question marks, isn't there? So let's look at to see. Oh, he is. He's on the legends list. Martin Odegaard is a Chelsea legend on this save. Obviously, on... This is only one save. This is one parallel universe in the many football manager saves out there. So let me know as well in the comment section below how Martin Odegaard is progressing on your saves. Maybe if you've holidayed into the future, let me know how he's got on as well. Okay, let's have a look at his career stats then over the last three years. Where once again, his average ratings have been very good. He's certainly never been a prolific goal scorer in this, but he has been a creative spark. Never got masses of assists either, 
But generally his average rating has been very good and he's caused problems to teams I guess. This year though, 16 goals, 13 assists, that's one of his better years, a 7.49 average rating overall as well, so that is pretty good indeed. Achievements wise, competitions, let's see what they have won. So they've managed to win the Premier League a couple of times, they've continued to win the Community Shield as well, and they've won the Euro Cup this year. So he's never played in a champion he's never won a Champions League final anyway whilst playing. But like I said in the last video, he did go he did get get those two uh Champions League medals, despite the fact he wasn't playing. Anyway, they managed to beat Bayern Munich in the Euro Cup final. That's strange, you'd expect it to be a Champions League final. A lot of those winners there you'd expect to be Champions League winners, to be honest. This is the Champions League. Chelsea won it those two times a few years ago, but since then they haven't managed to get through to a final. Monaco beat Benfica in this year's final, just gone, and we've seen Benfica and Porto win it the two previous years. Now, some of you that watched my Football in the Future experiment where I holiday to 2045, you'll recognise those winners because it is the same save that I'm doing this from, by the way. I will also be releasing some of the save files some point soon by the way and so every five years or so I know a few people are interested interested in that so he's finally been shortlisted for the world golden ball let's see how he's managed to, if he's actually managed to feature he didn't this year and I don't think he's featured at all if I'm honest uh, but there is I've got a parallel save to show you at the end of this video uh, which is quite interesting as well I've holidayed to 2030 five a couple of times but this is just one of the saves I chose this is the save where I saved a save file every year so we can look at it in detail but I've saved another game where I just holidayed quite far into the future without saving every year so let's have a look at well play of the year has he managed to feature on this at all I don't think he has and I suppose now he's got to the age of 31 He's a bit less likely to feature, although quite often on Football Manager you see 35, 36 year olds winning the award. It's now 2033, Odegaard's 34 years old and he's still at Chelsea. I think he's retired from international duty by the way because his caps haven't gone up. He's finished on 125 caps and seven, uh, 16 goals. Yes, he retired four years ago actually from international duty. They, I, I do tend to see a lot of players that end up getting 100 caps very soon. They, they seem to retire before they're 30 and that's what happened with Odegaard as well, retiring in 2029. Still a really good player, looking at him, he, despite the fact he's 34 now. He is a phenomenal player, and I, I don't know when he's going to retire, but he's been at Chelsea so many years now. It would have been quite interesting to see him move somewhere else. Uh, but here we go, he's become a Chelsea legend, so you Chelsea fans out there, maybe one day this will happen. Probably unlikely, but we'll see. Anyway, in the last three years then, he's, he's continued to play very well. Look at those average ratings once again. And three years ago, managed to get 17 goals in all competitions. Uh, a couple of years ago, 14 goals, 15 assists, 7.41. He's almost just got better as he's got older, if I'm honest. And the, the recent season, perhaps slightly worse in terms of goals and assists. But uh, average rating from all competitions of 7.49 is very impressive. Let's have a look at the competitions then. So they finally, he's finally managed to play in a Champions League final and won it. That is brilliant. 2031, he managed to win the Champions League. In fact, the last three years have been English teams. Let's see who they beat then. Go back a couple years. They beat Porto in the final, 1-0. Brilliant stuff. I'm happy for Udegaard. Uh, he's won the, the Club World Championship again. Is that the third time, I think? And... The Super Cup a couple of times, but nothing in the league recently. Let's have a quick look to see who's been winning the league. Arsenal twice and Man City. Newcastle won it in the 2029-30 season, which is very different to, to what you would expect, I guess. You can see his career here just generally. I don't know if that's just league performances, but 130 goals in 461 games is definitely not too bad for a a player of Udegaard's ability. You know, he's not a finisher. You can see that. That's clear. He's got quite good composure. But he is all about creating, isn't he? And passing and vision have continued to go up as he's got older, particularly vision, which is 19 now. 
those things generally can still improve as you get older. Obviously, his phys physicals are going down now. He's reached the age of 34, but he's still a really, really good player considering how old he is now. So he's finally retired at the age of 35. I guess that's not particularly old for a player to retire nowadays, but after an incredible career with Chelsea, he has decided decided to call it a day. You can see his biography there for those interested. Not sure how many more games he played for, for Chelsea, but he had a really good career and um, obviously is a very good player on the game. And if he can reach anything like this in real life, then he's going to be a phenomenal player. Didn't win World Player of the Year on this save, but I have another save. Now, this looks exactly the same. He's retired at the age of 35. Less caps, but more go goals for Norway on this save, interestingly enough. And as you can see here, he had a very different career path, going from Real Madrid to Southampton, then moved to Leicester, and then moved to PSG, where he became a club legend there. So instead of Chelsea on this uh, on this save, he moved to, to PSG. 205 goals in 508 games for PSG. Had a very good career as well. And you'll be able to see that he won World Player of the Year three times on this alternative save. In 2028, at the age of 30, he won it whilst at PSG. Then, at the age of 34, uh, 33, sorry, he won it. Um, and then, um, in the year later, at the age of 34, he, he won it. So, and look at those average ratings. That is ridiculously high. 7.91, 7.88, 7.92. So with PSG, we can deduce he'd be slightly better than at Chelsea and would win World Player of the Year three times. But he had a very good career at Chelsea, nonetheless, on the save we looked at in more detail. However, those average ratings are so high. And it's from both saves, he seemed to get better as he got older. The average ratings just got higher and higher. He scored more goals on this save, as you can see there. But what a player he actually is. Unbelievable player to be winning it at the age of 34 as well. Well, Golden Ball, he, he won a couple of times as well later on at the age of 32 and at the age of 33. And he probably featured in World Team of the Year quite a few times as well if we go back. Yeah, there he is. The PSG team, he feature heavily on this save. He's, he's in it quite a few times. So what a player he is. Uh, he, on both saves, he's become an amazing player. On the one we looked at in detail, he didn't win any worldwide awards, but had a better caps record for Norway, 126 caps, not as many goals. With Chelsea, became a club legend and had a phenomenal Chelsea career winning the Champions League three times let's say and with PSG you can read his biography here uh, but they have certainly won quite a few things over the years if we look at their history and go to competitions they won the Champions League in 2025, 31 and 32 Udegaard was involved in all of them World Club Championship in uh, 31 and 32 they won League 1 pretty much every year let's have a look they only missed out one year because of Monaco what unbelievable stuff from them. French Cup as well, they dominated. So he's had an incredible career of PSG. And because of the dominance of PSG in the French League, it probably enabled Odegaard to stand out a bit better and do better on the world scene. Anyway, thank you so much for watching part one and part two of this experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did. It'd be much appreciated. Let me know all the players you want me to, to do videos for in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. That would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.